And we like to think of people kind of being in flex or overdrive, and that's because they don't use their glutes enough, and you have to substitute your hamstring or your lumbar erectors to get hip extension when you're walking normally. Start watching your patients walk down the hallway. We watch everybody walk because we do a ton of gait stuff in the office. But what you're going to notice a lot of times is there's three rockers. Okay, When your foot hits the ground, we rock over our ankle okay, or our heel. That's called heel rocker. Then when the foot's flat on the ground and we're in stance phase, we have what's called ankle rocker where my ankle goes from here into some degree of dorsiflexion. And then you have forefoot rocker where you're picking the foot up. So three rockers should occur. A lot of your patients, particularly patients with low back pain, have no ankle rocker. They start, they rock on the heel, they get to the ankle, and what they do is they pick up and they use their calves to push themselves through their gait cycle. I know you've been told by your instructors erroneously in the past that we need our gastroxoleus for forward progression. The reason we have so many lower extremity pathologies is because we use our gastroxoleus for forward progression. What you should be using for forward progression are your hip extensors. And I'm willing to bet if we took um, any number of people right now, let's take somebody. You. <laughs> you might want to stand up so you can watch Deb walk. So all we're going to do is we're just going to have Deb walk. And all we're going to do is we're going to walk back and forth to the water jug a couple times. Sure. Keep going. Doing good. Walk at normal speed. Nobody's watching us, don't worry. We're watching her walk, watching her walk, watching her walk. So she's got a little hip extension, but can you see how she gets to here, mid stance, and then she picks up her heel already? She's got tight gastroxoleus group, and she doesn't fire her glutes. Okay? Put your hands on your butt. I'd put my hands there, but people would say things. Okay? <laughs> Do you feel anything as you're walking across there? Like some weight shift side to side. Okay. Do you feel your glutes working, though? Let's see. Can I touch? Is that okay? Yeah. All right. Turn around. Great. Just walk for me. Yeah. So her glute should be engaged the entire time she's on the ground. She engages at heel strike. That's it. Okay. Somebody else. You. Come up. Let's watch him walk. Does anybody here have open back shoes or flip flops on? Oh, good. You're next. <laughs> so again, he's got a little bit more hip extension. All I want you to do is look right here while he's walking. Right here and see how much hip extension. How much should he extend normally? At least 15 degrees, right? He doesn't come close to 15 degrees. He's got 5 to 10 on that side. Again, another glute failure. OK, come. <clears throat> and that's OK, though. The reason is, now, open back shoes. I'll tell you a really funny, very quick story. I was asked, um, I don't know, year, last year, year before, last year, I think it was, to come speak at the homecoming for National with my partner in Chicago. Um, college, and we were talking, and it's like, well, what do you want me to talk about, Jonathan? Oh, I don't care. Just come and talk. So I'm like, all right, I'll just come. So I'm trying to figure out, I'm sitting in the airport, and I always bring a video camera. People think I'm really weird. But I bring a video camera pretty much everywhere, because I'm always filming people's gait. And I'm like, what am I going to talk about? So I'm sitting eating an ice cream in the airport, and I'm like watching people walk, and I'm noticing people in flip-flops, and I'm like, hmm, this is really good. So we started just filming people with flip-flops. So I got like video footage of about 20 different people in flip-flops. And what you'll notice is they have absolutely no ankle rocker. And the reason is, is because they have to grip with their toes to hold the flip-flop on their foot. Whenever you grip with your toes, okay, you overpower your flexors and you basically turn off your hip extensors. So in our office, we have what we call the shoe shredder. Okay? We don't allow flip-flops in the office. People are allowed one time wearing flip-flops, the first time when they're warned. They wear flip-flops again, that's it. They go into the shoe shredder. <laughs> so flip-flops are evil. And then it was funny, like a year later, this article comes out in like the Harvard Medical Journal talking about how flip-flops are really bad for you in open back shoes. So I just want you to notice. Now, can you roll your pants up to your knees for us? Thank you. Sorry. Sorry we're exploiting you. But it's for the educational and higher purpose. So all I want you to do is watch her walk with her shoes on. And then we're just going to take them off. And I just want you to watch the difference in her hip extension. OK? So just walk down and back for us a couple times. Isn't this fun? This is what we do in our office all the time. Your pants aren't going to stay up? I'd ask you to take them off, but people you know, might get a little upset about that. Just so we're watching hip extension. OK, so when you're down there, kick your shoes off. OK, now I want you to walk back. Now she has more, automatically more hip extension. Now I'm going to show you a really cool trick. Ready? Turn around. All I want you to do is I want you to walk again, but this time I want you to hold your toes up while you're walking. Just a little bit. We'll try to walk. No, you don't have to hold them up quite that much. Not your whole foot, just your toes. See how much more hip extension you get when we employ our extensors? 
motor neuronal pool, right? Same neuronal pool. All we're doing is feeding more information into there. We just gave her 10 degrees of hip extension. She had zero before. Magic, right? Okay, thank you very much. That was great. So we need to give people more reasons to extend their hips. Okay, and that's why we're going to work some of the extensors. So that's why